older I get, the more I love the Feast of All Saints. It's our family feast day. Those who have gone on before us cheer us on. They're our models, our allies, and our intercessors. They're also a great source of hope. They lived very human lives, just like we do. However, they learned to live them faithfully in the Lord. Now, how did they do this? By yielding to His grace every day, by learning to give their yes to Him, by growing in their relationship with Him. And that engaged their capacity to make choices, their human freedom. Now they're in the fullness of joy, in the communion of the Trinity, experiencing the fulfillment of all for which they longed. Now they are truly free. And this is where we are headed. And our experience of that joy can begin right now. This is a day for rejoicing. It's a day for decision and anticipation. This is our feast. The words pronounced by priests throughout the world on this feast should become a song in our hearts today. Let us all rejoice in the Lord as we celebrate the feast day in honor of all the saints, at whose festival the angels rejoice and praise the Son of God. And our Bible readings at Mass call us to holiness of life, to sanctity. As we reflect on the great heroes of the faith, we are meant to walk the same way they did and allow the same Lord to recreate us anew. And we can make progress along that path by embracing the stuff of our everyday life, just as they did, and joining it to the Lord. Our joys, our sorrows, our struggles, and even our failures become the stuff out of which holiness is forged, as if by fire. We are all called to be saints. We should all long to be saints. Sanctity is not reserved for a few. It's the vocation of all who bear the name Christian. And grace makes it possible. Not easy, but possible. All saints of God, pray for us. Beloved Father, through the life, death, and resurrection of your only begotten Son, Jesus the Christ, we have become your adopted sons and daughters. Through baptism, we are now members of His body, the Church, which is your family. Our Savior Jesus taught us that whoever does the will of my Father in Heaven is my brother and sister and mother. And we thank you. That promise includes each one of us. As members now of the family of Jesus, we are reunited to you in Him. Through baptism, we've become your adopted sons and daughters and your beloved Son. And so we now turn to you in prayer, through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our Father, Abba. We pray that by the power of the Holy Spirit, you would raise up in our midst holy men and women and children in every nation and culture and walk of life, men and women and children who are so conformed to your Son, Jesus, that they make him known by their words, their deeds, and their life of love and sacrificial service men and women and children who are saints for this urgent hour, men and women and children who manifest the power of heaven on earth, who continue the ministry of Jesus, your Son and our Savior, through signs of the kingdom to come. Father, may these holy men and women multiply, providing leaders and servants for a new missionary age of the church. And we pray for ourselves and our families, that we could grow closer and closer to you every day, that we would be transformed by your grace and our free cooperation with that grace, empowered by your Holy Spirit to become new creations in Jesus Christ. Father, we ask you to renew the church, the body of your Son, so that she may draw the men and women of this age into a life-changing relationship with you in and through Jesus, and join all of us in his family the church. As members of the whole family of God, the saints on earth, joined in Jesus with those who are still being made ready, and with the saints in heaven who share in the fullness of your communion, we now praise you together. We ask for the prayers of all the saints in heaven, those whose name we know, and those whose name is known to you. Through their intercession, Father, we pray for the graces that we need to continue to turn away from sin 
and be more deeply converted to Jesus. And finally, dear Father, in the name of Jesus and under the maternal care of Mary, his mother, I present to you my own personal intention. Joined to the whole family of God, the communion of all the saints, we are now joined together in praying that beloved prayer which Jesus himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen.